Don't worry, there's all kinds of man shaving stuff under the sink in the bathroom. Yeah, the track teams used these dorms last month. What are you doing? Sorry, believe it or not, I've never slept in a room a man slept in before. Well, neither have I. Hardly. Oh, I didn't mean that. I just meant I never had brothers or a father or anything. Back home, it was just me and my mom. Divorce? Tell me about it. My mom's so busy trying to figure out who to marry next, she hardly has time to eat your lunch. My brother Joe was lucky. He got a job and lit out at 15. My folks aren't divorced. My dad's not living. He died in a car wreck when I was three. Oh, I'm sorry, Robin. Oh, it's okay. I don't remember him. You know, we could help you in the pageant. Became the top high school senior without a father to help you. Oh, Jesus, listen to me. Was that a horrible thing to say? No, I don't think so. You really think like having a f no father really counts up here? Everything counts up here. Your talent, your personality, the judges' conference. Is this your first? Sure. In fact, I didn't even enter myself. Mrs. Owens, our class sponsor, sent in my name, and then she told me. Gee, I never thought I'd win. Is this your first two? Heck no. Back home in Waco, Texas, I was voted Miss Teenage Complexion. It was run by this horny old skin doctor, 25 girls, first private inspection. At this room at the Holiday Inn, he had books. We put bathing suits on and a skin doctor looked. It was silly, I guess, but the winner was me. I won 25 bucks and got a ward removed free. <laughs> You're kidding. This is my first contest since we moved to California, though. Oh, contests are better here. More of them, stiffer competition. But if you win, it really means something. I've been checking into it. There's Miss California Fruits, Miss Golden Gate, Miss Wine Country, Miss Marine Land. Dear Mom, I'd like to see this while I'm here, Mom. It's a picture of the house in Luther Burbank. It's where he's buried. Those are his gardens. Pretty home. Oh, and everywhere you look, there's Miss Teenage America, Miss Well, Mom, haven't got a lot to tell, Mom. Nothing's happened yet. My roommate's very friendly. Love to Phil and Jean. P.S. Didn't Luther Burbank invent the nectarine? Love, Robin. And then someday, Atlantic City. You know a lot about pageants. Well, it's my hobby, practically. Ask me who was Miss America. Any year. Any year at all. 1959. Mary Ann Mobley. 1965. Fonda Van Dyke. Wow. <laughs> Ever since I saw my first one, she was standing in Disneyland. Disneyland? Oh, I was just a kid. She had this special, you know, live from Disneyland. And there she was, that year's Miss Anaheim. All dressed in white and waving. Oh, and Nikki and Donald and Goofy and everyone bowing and scraping and dancing around. Uh, I'm an enter Miss Disneyland, too, as soon as I'm old enough. I hope you're not disappointed. What do you mean? I mean, I've been there. It's kind of creepy. Mostly gift shops and people wearing costumes with very big heads. Come on, Robin, it looks fantastic. Castles and bobsleds and magic mountains. Yeah, but they're all made out of plaster and chicken wire. I mean, I was there, and I heard some birds singing, you know? And I looked up, and there were speakers in the trees. I mean, I guess it's pretty in a tacky sort of way, but it's phony as anything. Oh, good night, Doria. Good night, Rob. Hot Sunday night. I guess the folks were busy fighting. Joe's already left home, 11 years old on my own, feeling nothing but lonely. Nothing to do, there's nothing out there but the traffic down on State 93.